I'm wishing my sisters and my brother strength right now because I know we tired and I know we need it now more than ever. Um, clearly we got the whole world's attention, obviously, and justice has to be served, period. And if it's not, I don't think things are going to change or get better, you know, and I know I've been protesting. I know a lot of us been out in the streets protesting and it's been a lot of unity, but I also see a lot of like all people with ulterior motives that look like undercover cops. I don't know if they are undercover cops, but like, you know, starting a lot of the conflict, a lot of the issues. And we've all seen like places where they got them bricks, like conveniently located to like wreak havoc. And I don't know what the ulterior motive is. I don't know if it's to make us look like we wild beasts or don't have control, but we clearly are not wild beasts. We're extraordinary, talented, magical people. That if you took us out of the equation, the world would be very, very bland. And our ancestors built this country for free. Okay. So I'm just talking from the heart right now, but one of my biggest issues is that, um, this government, this current government is built and, and country is built on a racist foundation. A lot of us know this. And, you know, you want to talk about systemic oppression. You want to talk about the justice system being targeted to people that look like me. And it's impossible to get out of once you're in there. You know, I was talking with my homie Mike about some of the first police forces ever was made during slavery down south in them southern states. And their main focus was to capture, apprehend, beat, Discipline slaves, rip them apart from their families, keep them apart, and God knows whatever else, you know? And if they didn't do that, those officers didn't do that, they would be punished. So that's what I'm saying. That's how deep it goes back. So no wonder that a cop feels like they could kill a black man or woman and feel like it's a way of life. You know what I'm saying? It's like this country has a gash right in the middle of it where all its organs are that's so deep and been there so long that it's just rotting from the inside. And, you know, we could put makeup on top of it and concealer and shit to make it look like it's not so bad, but it is that bad. And we're experiencing it in real time on a daily basis. So you want to talk about land of equality and freedom. I don't feel equal and I don't feel free. You know, of course, let's speak up and be heard, but things have to change. Maybe these rules have to get updated. Maybe these laws have to get updated and government has to relay that foundation because it is a racist foundation right now and it feels like it's a long road ahead of us so i'm just wishing um to my sisters and brothers again so much strength to, and to everyone supporting us black lives matter god bless you and i'm so proud to be black i'll see you guys soon